Welcome to the American Lean Podcast. It's episode 12. And today I want to talk about how the return on investment from your lean transformation is going to be much greater than just bottom line or top line results. That the skills, knowledge, and abilities that your employees will learn and gain will impact your business for years to come. We'll get into the topic right after the intro. Welcome to the American Lean Podcast, where we cover five topics in five days in about five minutes. The only place in the world where you can get daily lean coaching. Your host is Tom Reed, and he shares his 30 years of experience and covers leadership, culture, entrepreneurship, lean methodologies, industry 4.0, and interviews special guests on their lean journey. We're glad you're here. So let's go. Welcome in to the American Lean Podcast. And like I mentioned, we want to talk about how the lean ROI is more than just money. Some organizations get caught in the never-ending exercise to having to capture the money that they're saving as a result of their lean transformation activities. Now, personally, I believe you should undertake a lean transformation because it is the right thing to do, but I've seen companies spend more time justifying the cost savings than conducting events themselves. While it is important to understand the impact that your lean activities are having on the business KPIs, there are also benefits that are often overlooked because they fall into the category of soft benefits. So benefit number one, process and business knowledge. Before any type of lean event occurs, the first step should be to value stream map the area or the process. It's during this time that the employees involved may be learning the rest of the processes that are involved in the business. I've had long-time employees, first-time value stream map participants that had no idea all of the processes that were involved in delivering a product to the customer. So having a better understanding of the overall process will allow your employees to make better decisions within their area of expertise because they can now see the impact that their decision will make on the rest of the value stream. Benefit number two, metrics and visual displays. So as you engage employees in a lean transformation, It's important to have them develop how they want to display their performance metrics. So understanding how their performance metrics impact the overall business metrics and then displaying them visually is important for employee engagement. I suggest letting them use a scoreboard scenario that reflects their favorite sports to make it meaningful and fun and increase engagement. Benefit number three, being part of a team. I've led rapid improvement events in organizations where this is the first activity that the employees have undergone where they had to work as part of a team. Work today is collaborative, yet often when asked to produce product, people operate as individual units of production. Gathering as a group, learning team dynamics, and participating are all aspects that pay huge benefits to the organization. To have true employee engagement, everyone will have to be part of a team. Benefit number four is problem solving skills. As your lean journey matures, you'll move from a firefighting reactive mode to problem solving. Now these skills aren't automatically ingrained in us from day one. They're a learned skill. It isn't everyone's first inclination to ask why five times or to stop to develop a fishbone diagram when they encounter a problem. These are learned behaviors and they are extremely valuable to the organization. Benefit number five are facilitation skills. As you begin your lean journey, you probably will want experienced coaches to guide you. Now, if they're true lean coaches, they should have an exit time frame and work on training your internal resources to become lean facilitators and coordinators. Facilitation skills are key in making or breaking your lean transformation and should be a cornerstone skill for your lean coordinators, subject matter experts, and trainers. Patience, empathy, active listening, consensus building, these are all skills that your successful facilitators will need to learn and will deliver a payback that is more than any dollar amount that can be calculated or captured. So please give these five benefits some thought as you lead your lean journey within your organization. They are just as, or even more important, than defined dollar savings. The impact of growing your employees will provide more to the organization than cost savings ever will. So I hope you enjoyed our time today. I hope this added value. Please remember, while consuming information is great, I want you to take this information to make yourself and your company a little bit better today. This podcast is for you, so if there are topics that you would like me to cover, or if you'd like to share your company's lean journey, please contact me at tom at americanlean.com. Full show notes can be found at AmericanLean.com slash blog. Lean ROI is more than money. Until tomorrow, have a great one. Thank you for joining us today. As always, we are honored to serve you, and we hope that you and your company are getting a little bit better every day. Please subscribe, rate, and review this podcast and share it with others in the lean and business community. If you'd like to turbocharge your lean efforts, please visit us at AmericanLean.com.